Hello, hello. Welcome to Reading Time. My name's Time, and this week we are reading There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly by Sims Tabak. Let's get to reading. There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly is a children's picture book. This one is written by Sims Tabak, and it is based off of a folk poem that became popularized in America in the 1940s. The premise of the story is that there is an old woman who swallows a fly and then she proceeds to swallow more and more animals in order to reverse the effects of what she's already done, but in doing so she ends up dying in the end from consuming too many animals. This book in particular is interesting because each time the old lady swallows something, there's a cutout on the page. So if I flip to this page, for example, it shows what's already in her stomach on one side. So in this case, she has eaten a fly and a spider, and then she's about to eat a bird. And once we read that there was an old lady who swallowed a bird and we get the rest of the rhyme, the bird is now in her stomach. Another thing to note with this edition is that the old lady becomes bigger and bigger the more that she eats, and in the end, she eats a horse, and because of that, as we can see, she's very large on this page, because she eats the horse, she ends up dying. Overall, I'm rating this at three and a half stars. I do think that it is a classic and a lot of people are familiar with at least parts of the rhyme, if not the whole poem itself. And this specific book did give me vague flashbacks to elementary school where I'm sure this was read aloud to me. But I wouldn't say that it's an overwhelmingly striking book or one that... Uh, I think everyone definitely needs to read. It's middle of the line generally, maybe a little bit more than that middle line for me. As far as content goes for this book, obviously she dies in the end from all of her consumption, and so there is death present in this book. Although I am going to note that originally I actually got the wrong version of There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly. I ended up getting the book written by Lucille Colandro, and in this version, she actually changed the rhyme a little bit, changed the poem, so that the old lady does not die in the end, and instead of the poem saying, perhaps she'll die, it says she won't say why, as in she won't say why she swallowed all of those things. And in the ending of this version, she actually doesn't die. Instead, it says, but swallowing the animals is not how this ends because she coughed so hard. Out flew all her new friends. So in the ending of this book, she doesn't die. The animals are okay in the end. And because of this, I... Do you think that if maybe you don't want your younger readers to have to deal with the old lady dying, there are other options out there if you still generally like the story itself. Either way, I would say that this book would generally be fit for a kindergarten through second grade age level, that early elementary school age range. There are definitely some sight words and because of the rhyme, I do think it would be a good one to help students identify any words that they are learning how to read and practice sounding out words. If you wanted to teach this book in a classroom setting and use it for more than just reading time, there's a few different things that you could do. Uh, for one thing, you could talk about cause and effect and solving problems in general. For example, what could the old lady have done because she swallowed the fly instead of swallowing a spider and a cat and a dog and so on and so forth? You could also bring up the fact that there are other versions of this story as well, and you could 
compare and contrast between the different versions of the story. If you wanted to, you could even open it up to comparing the different art styles or comparing the animals and the way they look in the books. You can also look at the tell from the Grimm's Fairy Tales entitled The Pair Refused to Fall because it follows a similar format as there was an old lady who swallowed the fly. This story talks about a master who went to shake a pear from a pear tree, but the pear refused to fall. And so he keeps sending out different things to get the pear to fall. And then when that doesn't work, he'll send something to take care of what he had previously sent out. I will say, however, if you do want to use this grim fairy tale, Probably don't use it with elementary schoolers. This would be something to use with older students. As the last stanza, it really is more of a poem than a tale in this case. Ends with the henchman being sent out to go and hang the butcher because the butcher didn't kill the calf, the calf didn't lap up the water, and so on and so forth. So I do think the hanging of the butcher would definitely not be age appropriate for kindergarten through second graders, but if you wanted to look at this story with an older age group or even not include the full tale if you're working with younger students, I do think it is an option. This week's poster square is pretty straightforward. It is right here on the poster for us. And it is an old woman with a fly on her tongue. And that's it for book 26 of our 100 books. As always, let me know what you thought of the book. And if you have any book recommendations, feel free to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. You can follow me on social media on either Facebook or Instagram for pictures and updates about what I'm reading. And as always... Have a marvelous week and a wonderful read.